hello guys aquaba welcome to my channel this is nana again today i'm coming to you with this diy mad cloth pattern that i have on my wall in my entryway i told you guys i was gonna cover the wall charcoal and i did this was actually a mixture of two grays so it's a very dark gray um this is gallon gray and black from coral deluxe which is a local ghanaian paint um brand so what I did was find a mad cloth pattern on Pinterest. It is one of my favorite places on the internet. So I thought I'll find something simple enough because I'm not a painter, you guys. I don't know how to draw. So I'm just trying to make sure I find something as simple as possible that could serve as a feature. I got also a second pattern because the first one was a little too simple for me. So I went ahead and get this second pattern which had um, crosses and some dots mixed with that pattern, um, the straight line pattern. And then the first thing that you want to do when you're doing this project is to draw them on a paper, kind of visualize them so you can see what you're about to put on the wall. Now we have the two designs side by side and I still could not decide which one I wanted more than the other. So I did what every sane person does. <laughs> I put it on Instagram and I had you guys vote for what should go on the wall. I asked which pattern is your favorite and I just left it sat there and then went on to the project which if you're not following me you should follow me at Miss Nana Ashanti so you can be part of my next project. So you're going to need two plastic cups, two pencils, um, a measuring tape and a set of of course um, paint brushes. The plastic cup so you can move around easily when you're doing the project and i also use some leftover white acrylic paint also from the same brand so wherever you are just make sure you can find something similar as well but this is just pure white first thing that we're going to do is to prep the wall i have to take the dust off because this um, paint has been there for a while and then i started marking six inches off the wall from the top all the way to the bottom six inches because i felt that is how wide i want my pattern to be it's a free hand but i don't want it to be jumpy all over the place so i had to do some sort of registration mark so mark from the end where you have that registration mark to the middle somewhere and make another point so six inches all the way through you got that now we're going to mix the paint a little bit because it had been sitting for a while and had become very thick and I want something that could glide on the wall very easily. So we're going to mix it to the smoothness level that you want. Set one of the cups with water with the paint brushes soaking in and the other one pour this into it so that you can move easily. Now, number one, which was this pattern, won the poll on Instagram. So I had no choice but to paint it on the wall. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty shaky in the beginning and you know, I was a bit scared, but it came up so beautifully. So if you start and you're a bit shaky, do not worry about it at all. You will get the hang of it as you go on. So this is how the slow down version is. It's a very easy pattern for everybody to do. Even for those of us who don't have any, you know, um, painting skill, this is like a good pattern for you. Just press the paintbrush to make the dot. Go one way down, one way up. Correct it as you go, it's your wall. And this is gonna be a background. I'm going to style this wall and make it a very nice entryway. So instead of um, putting up a wallpaper, or something that would damage the wall, I went with this. And in the end, I really love the look. The white against the gray was so good. And it's the first thing everybody sees when they come in and it's amazing. So yeah, try this, tag me in your pictures when you do, subscribe, thumbs up this video if you want more DIYs and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care, I'll see you later.